Hi everyone, welcome back to another Master Vlog. And as you can guess, we're in Jabja. And Gekas has arrived. It is the Slonsky Classic. It is the game where most Gekas fans were looking forward to during the entire year. Last season we saw it in Bukova, uh, but it was for the cup. Now it's for the extra classa. Gekas is in a comfortable mid-table position and they probably want to stay there as long as possible. But Gornik is at the moment not really well, running well. I actually think today and also the cup game will be very important for Jan Urban. So it's a big week. Uh, if the result will not be good, then I don't think he will make it uh, till the end of October. So I'm expecting a spicy battle on the field, but in the stands it will be totally different. Uh, Gekas and Gornik are good friends, especially with their hatred towards Rogorjov. As you can see, today I'll be in the Gornik sector. I already got a comment at the train station that why am I not the, the geeks out? It basically comes down to recording. Uh, I can record freely from where I'm sitting now. If I sit with the Geeksa fans, I will need to get a lot of permissions from the other groups and also need to do a lot of editing blurring. It saves me a lot of work. The stadium is completely sold out. I think around 5,000 Geeksa fans are coming. I'm hoping for ultra atmosphere, but I'm afraid for penalties from the FA. It seems lately that Pace PN is coming down a lot on ultras and excessive celebrations. Let's just Let's, let's just say that. Because I think Tiki got a ban now from last Monday's game. Anyways, let's get to the stadium. My friends from Geeks are already there. Less talking, more action. <laughs>
it was an okay first half. Uh, outside of a couple of moments, there was some football action, but it was not that expected. It was all about the atmosphere in the stadium. Uh, that was not the biggest highlight of the first half. It was, uh, it was footballing wise, it wasn't really a spectacular first half. Corny got a quick first goal from Lukas Podolski. I couldn't really see it because everyone needs to stand. I don't know why you can see it when you're sitting. I don't know why people need to stand. Gekker has been close to Nikolaise. Oskar Repka shot from outside the box, straight on the post. But I would say overall, the match is a bit equal. Gornik is trying a bit more than Gekker, but I think in the second half, we don't see Gekker go. Julian! Like Jan Urban can relax a bit more now. I saw a comment already online saying that Gornik played their best game of the season so far and it's true uh, they were very dominant creating a lot of chances and opposing them was a very offensively weak kick ass. Uh, hardly created anything other than the shot on the post from Oskar Repka. It looks like Bergier is not in form but offensively it really needs to improve a bit for kick ass. Uh, there's a Important cup game coming now against informed Temalika. So it will be a hard game and for Gornik the next game is against Radom at home For the cup will be there and this result and the way they're playing gave me a bit more hope But yeah, that was it for this year's Slansky Classic uh, We'll be back in the new stadium for the return game As you can see from the video 
Uh, the atmosphere in the stadium is amazing. 22,000. Again, like I mentioned in previous videos, here in Silesia, the amount of people you get into in your stadium, it's a bragging right. Because there are some people obsessed with attendance numbers. But that was it for me today. I'm exhausted after two days of traveling. Tomorrow we'll be back with another derby. Ice hockey this time. So it's gonna be a bit more relaxed video. But as always, thanks for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. You know what to do. And we'll see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.